We're going to start by clicking on Life Scenarios. There's a bunch of screens that pop up. Just click Continue, Continue, and let's begin. Now we are on Scenario 1, as you can see. Right here we have our jars. Now, poor people, when they spend money, just like to keep it all in one big pile. But if you need, but you need a budget to help organize it. We've got the food jar, the car jar, rent jar, utilities jar, others, and reserves. This is where we're going to keep track of all of the money. If we put all the money in one big pile, then when we want to spend it, well, we'll just pull it out of the pile and we may spend more than we actually have. But if we set aside money for food and set aside money for rent, then when it's time to buy food or pay rent, we have the money set aside. That's what we call a budget. Now down here, you have the accounts. It's like how you can hold your money. You can hold it in cash, you can put it in the bank, or you can use a credit card. Now remember, if you use a credit card, you have to pay it back later. We are on Scenario 1. It's Pay Rent, Life Scenario 1. We're going to need our book for this, as you can see here. It says uh, Scenario 1. Here's Your Rent is Due, number one here. And it looks like it's $400. So let's go back to this page. And it says, where did you spend your money? We're going to type in rent, because that's what we're going to have to pay. And it cost us $400. Which account did you use, it says next. If we go back to where it says here, it says that we use the checking account. So let's click on checking account. We're going to pull it from the rent jar. So let's see. Checking account right here, and then rent jar. All right, we're going to go $400, and uh, right there we have the rent jar. It's got 400 bucks in it. We click OK. The rent jar goes down, and we click Save. We're ready for the next one. This is number two. This is our paycheck. So here we have, where did you receive your money? Well, congratulations, you got a full-time job. Your employer withholds taxes from every paycheck. The amount you actually receive in your checking account is shown as net pay on your this statement. This basically means that it may look like you got $400, but the government's going to take a bunch away in taxes, so you actually only get $322.21. Sorry. We're going to put our paycheck into our checking account. That's like putting it in the bank so we can use it later. And we're going to have to divide it into that budget thing. Remember when we saw Jack like organizing money? We got to organize it into those jars. Where did you receive your money? Well, it was from a job. Well, how much did you receive? Looks like we got this number right here, 322.21. And which account are we gonna put it in? Checking right there. So we click on checking. Our checking number goes up. And how are we gonna divide it? Well, looks like we're gonna put this amount in car. We got $25 for gas. Right there you can see it put $25 in our car jar. Uh, we're going to get some food. We need $75 for food, groceries. So let's go back to the groceries here, food, and we'll put in $75. Okay. Uh, we still got a little bit more to do. There's the food right there. We got, oh, our favorite band is coming to town. We need $80 in other. So let's put $80 in other. Now you'll notice that when we do this, we have the other jar, which now has $80 in it. And the amount left, this 142 number, is actually the number we have left right here. So we're just going to click on reserves. It's going to put everything back in there. I hit OK and save. We are now finished with number two. So the next thing is now we're on number three. And you're going to have to use your book again. It looks like you're going to be buying gas. You're going to give them some money to get some gas. You're going to pay in cash. The rest, I leave up to you. Good luck.